In this training session, we will be reviewing the cost point manage alternate projects functionality. The alternate projects functionality that is core to cost point allows users to create or combine related or unrelated project structures that were built in the project master application group. The alternate project view created here can use entire projects or individual project nodes. Example for use of this functionality would be to track horizontal or vertical markets, geographical sales, evaluation of business unit where your cost point organization structure does not contain a built-in reference to that business unit. The structures can be used to generate the following reports. Project status report, project labor summary, project non-labor detail, and revenue summary. So let's take a look at an example of how to use the alternate project functionality. To get to the application, we must go to the projects domain, project setup module, alternate project application group, and there you will find the manager alternate projects application. Don't forget, you could also get there by entering part or all of the application name in the browse applications search box. So in this example, we are going to create an alternate project structure that allows us to see project data related to our various customers. The first step is to define the alternate project structure we need. Just as when we create a project in the project master, we start with the first level and build on from there. The overall alternate structure itself, as in the project master, can be up to 30 characters in length. To create our structure, we click on the New button from the Application menu bar, or use Ctrl-N from the keyboard from within the middle pane of the screen. You'll notice that cost point starts by entering 1 into the Level field of the Structure table. Next, tab or click into the Length field. Something to note here, cost point requires that the first level of the alternate project structure follow the same business rule for the project length as the project master does. And so whatever value has been entered into the project segment lengths table for level one of the configure project settings screen will be what is entered in the lengths field here. The level name, which can be 30 characters in length, contains the name to be used for this level of the structure being created. In this example, we are using all customers. Once the first level has been created, we can add as many other levels as our structure dictates. Please note, other levels built in alternate project structures can be whatever length you need for the particular structure being created. In this example, we have a second level that is four characters in length and has a level name of separate customers. Our second step is to create the elements of our alternate project structure. Click on the New button from the Application menu of the top pane of the screen to create a new line or element. As mentioned previously, we start with the first level and build from there. So in this example, the Project Report Name field will use CUST2. In the Project Report description, enter up to a 25 character name for the top level of your structure. In this case, we will use All Customers. Notice that the level field is correctly identified as one already. From here, you can tab to create a new line to enter the second level of your alternate structure, or click on the New button from the Application Toolbar. So in our example, we will create two second level elements, one for the Navy and one for SAIC. In the project report name, we enter cust2.navy and enter a project report description of Navy. Again, we tab until we get a new line. In the project report name, we enter cust2.saic and enter a project report description of SAIC. The third and final step in the process of building an alternate project structure is to assign project nodes from the project master to the alternate project structure elements we just created in step two. To begin, we click or highlight cust2.navy in the top panel of the screen. In the third panel of the screen, we have two windows. 
The left window represents the project master and contains all the projects set up there. The right window are the projects that are assigned to the alternate project structure being worked with. So we want all the projects that have a Navy customer reference in the project name to be associated with our cust2.navy element. I'm going to use the query button in the project master window to find our projects. I change the search criteria for project name to contains navy and click on the find button. The system returns all the projects from the project master that contain the word navy in the project name. So I can simply select all the projects that are returned in my query by clicking on the select all checkbox in the first column of my projects table. Or I can individually select them by clicking on my selections separately. Something to point out here is that if I want the system to automatically maintain my structure, I have the ability to select the Include Lower Level checkbox in the Selected Projects table on the right. With that said, I'm going to select the fifth level of the projects returned in our query from the Project Master table. I click on the Select button to transfer the project nodes to the Selected Projects window and I click the low lev checkbox for all the nodes. Now we repeat the same step for selected projects for our SAIC element. I set the project search criteria to projects begins with three and change the search criteria for projects name to contains SAIC and click on the find button. Notice that this project starting with 30026 doesn't have a higher level. So this element will contain some projects that can have the lower level checkbox selected and others will not. Make sure to save your work by clicking on either the save or save and continue icon to save the records to the database. Other options within alternate project functionality include an unlimited number of alternate project structures that can exist, Projects in Project Master can be linked to more than one alternate project. Many projects or project nodes have the capability to be combined together. The user community does not see the alternate project during the course of normal transaction entry. There are a few limitations. As shown, there is an ongoing maintenance and upkeep of these structures if you can't select a higher project node and use the Include Lower Levels feature. There is no wildcard usage to support ranges or families of projects in the alt project structure. We also cannot use the alt project structure to support cost point standard billing functionality. Alternate projects is a great way of combining projects for various reasons, and given the size of the project field and the various requirements of the people within any company, there is an inclination for project designers to use the project structure for everything. So consequently, people might set up projects and add extra levels to the overall project structure that increases the overall size of the project, which is going to create confusion and complexity for the user community. So that's why the alt project structure is a nice way of grouping your projects or nodes of projects together. This concludes our lesson on managing alternate project structures. Please make sure to view our lesson on the reports that use alternate project structures.